in the complex context of the world situation, countries are rapidly increasing their power at sea, which requires revolutionary changes in the design of the next generation surface warship. Mako frigates are making new strides. Recently, this and craft marine systems revealed design details for its new Mako A300 frigate at Euronever in Paris. The ship is said to have a length of 129 meters and a displacement of up to 6,000 tons, will enhance the Navy's sea combat capabilities. According to Naval News, the Mako A300 will have options for 64 Mark 41 vertical launching system cells, or a mix of 32 Mark 41s and 36 Mark 56 vertical launching system cells. These options enable the spread of anti-air warfare lethality, ranging from exo-atmospheric to area to local air defense capabilities. The Mako A300 will likely be equipped with the directed energy weapons provided by two high-energy lasers by Rheinmetall and MBDA Germany and two high-powered microwaves delivering destructive thermal effects and disrupted control effects respectively. Anti-ship and land attack capability is provided by 16 deck launched surface-to-surface missiles, like Kongsberg's never try missile. The ship's vertical launching system cells can also carry land attack systems. Two four-route sea spider launchers are fitted one either side of the frigate amidships. The frigate's torpedo capabilities can include lightweight torpedoes and heavyweight torpedoes, including sea hike torpedoes, deployed via a modular launching system fitted in the ship's mission bay. The Mako A300 will be equipped with the Automara 127mm naval gun it is compatible with volcano guided munition and fires 34 rounds per minute. Central to survivability is stealth. The hull and superstructure design includes very severe angles for the plating. Any open spaces in the superstructure are fitted with stiff tungsten mat Faraday cages to reduce those spaces' radar signature. Our upper deck mounts and fitting are positioned behind fixed or collapsible bulkheads. To tackle the hard temperature factor within the ship's signature equation, a seawater-based internal cooling system keeps hard temperature very close to that of the sea's surface. Situated at the stern below the fly deck, the mission bay can accommodate a range of capabilities, including a passive towed array sonar, up to four TEU footprint container modules, and two 11 meters unmanned surface vessels. The Mako A300 has completed the concept phase and is currently in the basic design.